I bid you welcome. I welcome you to my house. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my home. Hello horror hounds, welcome to my horror house and welcome to the third instalment of Horror Movie Generator. I'm having fun doing it, you guys seem to like it. So I'm more than happy to, to carry on as long as you want me to. If you want to suggest words or phrases to go into the generator, please let me know in the comments below. I will happily add them because I'm sick of Arkansas popping up all the time. I've already got rid of that. I need replacements. But when we're generating content as good as Bat Mountain Twitter Spa, I feel that we should continue rather than rest on our laurels. So, the first new piece of horror content for this edition is called Subterranean. Birthday. Goat. Ah, oh, why do I do this to myself? Brain. <laughs> Subterranean goat brain. <laughs> help, help me out here, guys, in the comments if you can come up with a plot for Subterranean goat brain. But I think it goes something like this. I'm getting a blood on Satan's claw type vibe. Someone unearths a ancient druidic or pagan site oh what's this well clearly here's the uh, what was the altar and here uh, you can see the channels running down it where the blood would drain away and here here is uh, things with etchings that they used to do and blah 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 and, and what's this uh, oh it's lots and lots of animal bones and here's a uh, 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 lots of goat skulls, and within this skull, what, what, what's this? That's, that's in, impossible. There's still brain tissue here, but this is this is hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of years old. There, that matter would have decayed now. Why is there still uh, viable brain tissue within this skull? What's possibly going on? Why was, oh no, why was this site seemingly uh, covered over? And why is this goat? suddenly regenerating now. Don't, 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 I don't know. I'm only coming out with the titles uh, and the plot synopses. I, I don't know what the third act twist is, but that's subterranean goat brain for you. I think one of the lesser Baldwins would be in that. <laughs> lesser Baldwins. They're all lesser Baldwins. Next, Creek. Right, I'm sick of Creek. That's been there far too many times. This is the Vampire Creek. Vampire Creek. Do you know what? I would just get the cast of Dawson's Creek back and do a vampire version of Dawson's Creek now that they're all older. They all need the cast. They'll all fucking do it. Vampire Creek. I don't want to wait for your neck to be drained. I'm not going to sing again. Next piece of top draw original content, Maniac. So we're gonna need words that replace Arkansas Creek and stuff like that that keep cropping up. Maniac Spa, see Spa's gone again. This is the last outing for Spa. Maniac Spa. She's a maniac, maniac, maniac spa demon. Maniac Spa Demon. <laughs> Why'd I put Spa in there in the first place? It doesn't help my cause. <laughs> It's a hydrotherapy spa. 
Yes! Like the Lamberto Bava movie Demons. Somehow the water gets tainted. Someone tries someone tries to cleanse it. It's a there's a there's a curse on the spa, this hydrotherapy spa. Say it was a place where I I don't know, babies were drowned back in back in ye olden days. So someone's got the idea people don't go there, there's bad juju there, but this businessman, it's always a businessman has got this plan that, well, there's this, there are these natural springs here. This is a natural resource. The land's going for tuppence halfpenny because everyone thinks it's cursed. What we'll do is we'll have a grand opening. We'll invite loads of influencers. Oh, I fucking love this um, for the grand opening. And on the opening day, we'll have a ceremony with a priest. And what he will do is he will get some blessed holy water and he will, he'll add it to the spa. And then this place is cleansed. This place is cleansed. And then after that's done, we see in the back room, it was just an actor. It wasn't even holy water. It was all just a big promo. And then when all the influencers go into the spa, like Bava's demons, they all turn, they all get possessed by the evil spirits and turn into demons and basically tear everyone apart. Maniac, spa demon. Yes. Last one. Exorcist. Hospital exorcist. What, have you ever seen Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? There is a hospital that would need to employ an exorcist. Uh, the hospital in Exorcist 3 certainly could have done with an exorcist. Exorcist Hospital Farm? Exorcist Farm Hospital. So, an exorcist vet? So I'm thinking it's out, it's in the outback where they have huge vistas and, and, the, and the farms can go on for miles and miles and miles and you can see nothing else around. Um, and you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of head of sheep and the like. But this guy's farm, this is a, maybe a little bit della morte, della more. This guy's farm, a portion of it was stolen from, from the, um, you know, the, the first settlers, the Aboriginal people, and, and a, a curse was placed on the land. So every once in a while, the odd goat or sheep turns all possessed and demonic and starts running rampant. But what are you gonna do? You, you're a farmer, you need to keep running your business. So you employ a full-time exorcist on hand to try and get rid of the demons which try and infiltrate through the sheep. That's what I've got. <laughs> So a bit of a stretch calling that uh, exorcist farm hospital. It's just the first draft title. Vetsorcist. No, that doesn't work. Goat, goat sheep, ex or sheep? No. Tell me, what is a better title for the sheep exorcist? Well, the sheep exorcist. That would sell. <laughs> I've just, I've just said it. It's, it's the sheep exorcist. <laughs> In pre-production phase, it was called Exorcist Farm Hospital. <laughs> but uh, it's one of these movies that gets different titles in different regions. And uh, here it was called the sheep exorcist. I guess. One more. One more. Well, I think Sam Neill would be in The Sheep Exorcist. Well, I don't think he would. He's got more self-respect than that, but I would like Sam Neill to be in The Sheep Exorcist. One more. Apocalypse. Now. Shark Apocalypse. Come on, done. 
I want five tickets for that because when I come out after I've seen it the first time, I'm gonna buy some more nachos and go straight back in. And I'm gonna do that four times. Shark Apocalypse, done. Guardian, Shark Apocalypse, Guardian. I'm just going insane now. Wolf. Wolf, Guardian, Shark Apocalypse. Only the spirit of the wolf can save us against the shark apocalypse. With rising sea levels, clearly, I'm not thinking about something as stupid as the Sharknado films. Credit me, credit me with that. With the rising sea levels, sharks instantly become much more of a clear and present danger to us land dwellers when there's, when there's less land. So the, the shark apocalypse is something we really should all be talking about and should be worried about. But you know, the mainstream media just sweeps it away, don't they? The only thing that can save us from the oncoming shark apocalypse is the wolf guardian, the spirit of the wolf guardian. And that involves humans who want to survive pledging their soul to the wolf guardian during um, uh, a, a, a super wolf blood moon or whatever they're called and turning into werewolves to fight the sharks. Yes, werewolves versus sharks, the last taboo in horror movies. Finally, busted wide open <laughs> at Grumpy Andrew's Horror House. Go to your local cineplex and demand one ticket for the next film that features werewolves versus sharks. And don't leave until they give it to you. In fact, I demand that you stay exactly rooted to the spot, even if it means soiling yourself. If this is the only way we can get a werewolves versus sharks movie, God damn it, I'm going to have shit running down my necks by the end of the day.